The story DLC is coming, and it's going to get more interesting. Ugh. Hey hey hey, I'm the Global Cherry and today I will be giving you an exclusive Dying Light 2 update about the DLC, new game plus, and new changes coming to the game. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Oh, uh, I need some help? I'm stuck in the cardboard box! <coughs> Dying Light 2 story DLC will not begin right after the main story's ending, but rather parallel to the story. The idea was that the DLC takes place right before the epilogue in Villador, which I'm assuming is right before the volatile chase scene in the Now or Never mission. Go! In this new story, Aiden will interact with new people and will be taken to a new place to begin his journey. The story DLC may not take place in Elysium, but this DLC will eventually lead up to what happened after the main story's ending. Therefore, you can forget about what I said about Elysium in my previous videos. Aiden will also be visiting new environments, allowing him to use a variety of combat styles. Maybe he'll visit areas like the Sunken City. It would be awesome if he could explore new cities or other dangerous areas. Maybe a frozen part of Villador with ice zombies. This story DLC is confirmed to be released this June. Yay! If you want to play the story DLC for Dying Light 2, you can play it at the start of the game in June. You don't even need to finish the main story and hear Waltz's long dialogue. What have you done with me? Apart from the DLC, Teclan also said major new changes coming to Dying Light 2. Players will be able to get new inhibitors over the next couple of weeks in content updates. New Game Plus is also happening very soon, so we can use our favorite weapons to breeze through the story with different choices. And I know that one of you asked me to do another run through, making different choices. We'll also be getting Photo Mode, a higher difficulty level, and other surprises Teclan is being very secretive about. There is no Battle Royale, but Teclan stated there is no PvP yet. Emphasis on the yet part. They are currently targeting online play, but they aren't denying that there will be PvP. Keep your eye out also for mutated infected and new zombies in Dying Light 2 updates. They are going to be Villador's new residence. There's also a chance that we'll be getting a super volatile zombie. They've given us emotional damage with one slap. Ah! Ah! But imagine them getting much stronger. That is just horrifying. It seems that our Dying Light 2 nighttime will be much more dangerous for our Aidens. The Aidens have such a difficult life. Do you know what I find more scary than the Volatiles? A Barney Apocalypse. I love this cursed April Fool's post on Teclan's Twitter. Check it out. Due to popular demand, we decided to replace all infected models with Barney. Everyone hates Barney. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Ah, I just love mods, don't you? <laughs> if Teclan actually made this happen, I'm not looking forward to seeing what a Barney Volatile looks like. Imagine being chased by a Barney tile. Another update is that we can also raise our maximum player level to further grow Aiden's abilities. You won't see a level 10, 11, or 12, but you can still upgrade Aiden. There could possibly be bikes in Dying Light 2. I'm not really sure about this one, but Timon says they'll use bikes and hoverboards due to their popularity to the community as easter eggs. Roaming around Villador on dirt bikes would sound pretty badass though, although it sounds a little like days gone. More easter eggs will be hidden around the Dying Light 2 map, so let's try to find them. Oh. Another easter egg. We create a bicycle. Remember kids, safety first. Safety first. Some serious oh. skills. Okay! And that, my dear, is how bicycle. Techland workers oh. go to job. <laughs> the team at Teclan have such creative ideas for their easter eggs, especially the one with the space chicken. Timon also confirmed that Teclan will resolve the issue about the Koric charm being the only item for repairing weapons. Do you miss using scrap to repair weapons like Dying Light 1? I sure did. But Teclan will be inputting a much more interesting method to repair our weapons. I'm really curious what that is. Lastly, Teclan will not be planning a Dying Light 3 for now due to focusing on working on their fantasy open world RPG AAA game. If people People show a lot of interest in the second Dying Light game after 5 years, they will consider making one. Dead Island 2 is in the works currently though. That game was in development for a very long time, but it could become a masterpiece. I'll have to see for myself when it's out. I hope you enjoyed this quick update. I was intending on posting it last Friday, but I realized that day was April Fool's Day so people might not believe me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, feel free to like the video and comment down your thoughts about the story DLC and join the family by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like these. Thank you for watching and that's all.